Hello, this was a very exciting sample. This was, um, I plankton netted by myself this time in a pond and I got a plankton net. And this is one of the Daphneids I found here and I got like really good detail on it and the gut track and stuff. And I have never actually seen a Daphneid before. But when I took the sample with the plankton net, when I unscrewed it at first, I thought there would be like nothing in it but once I pulled it off there were just like gamorids and copepods everywhere and all the water was like flickering orange sadly when I um actually got the sample um to the microscope it was really hard to get all that stuff out so mostly I just got daphneids and like a couple copepods but as they calm down a bit more I'm going to be able to get those finally and I also thought about putting capsaicin in the water from a pepper which would hopefully calm them down a little bit. And there's also some rotifers here, and there's oil globules inside of it that are very visible. And then, of course, that big um, black area is its eye, and it's actually rotating and looking around. And then it's moving its legs inside of it, and they move really fast. This was a dead one. Either that or it shed it. I'm not sure of really that behavior in these. And then there's like a tiny little ciliate there. But they're really fast and kind of hard to track with the microscope. And I wasn't using cover slips here, so it was like, um, like rumbling up and down quite a lot. But, um, the polarization went really well because it lit up some of like the main parts and also the gut track like the main one is green if you look at it at least with this footage and then here was a little one it has like two of those little oil globules and its gut track is also green and it wraps around the end to that tail segment But I went to a dock on the end of a pond, and then I threw the plankton net out from there. And then I just um, reeled it in, and this was the result. There was a lot more stuff like this than that I said this earlier. Too, but... Um. This is a different Daphneid here, and it appears to be from a completely different species. The structure is different. Um, it looks like a more traditional Daphneid that I've seen in photos. But whenever I like went to focus, it would bump it around a bunch and get it to move. So I had to be really steady with it, especially when I took some photos, which I did this time to actually make a good thumbnail instead of trying to like open it on like the movie display or thing on windows and then screenshot it but here's I actually able to use the 10 times objective since there was no cover slip I couldn't go past 10 times without getting water all over the objective potentially and it'd also just be too shaky Even if it's not moving, it's still vibrating. But recently I also found some dileptus and stuff, so I need to make like a bunch of videos now, and I found ostracods in some of my samples, and I like pipetted them onto the same thing. But here is a really interesting ro rotifer I found. It's from Monogonanta. I've seen photos of these before. I didn't look up the actual rotifer, but it would be pretty easy to find. Um, I also found um, another rotifer called Namada Groenlandia, um, and it was a really pretty rotifer, and I spent a long time getting the species identification, um, but it was definitely worth it. 
and I found a bunch of those and I could see like the flame cell lit up under the polarization. But here is a calanoid, not a cyclops, a calanoid, which is a completely different type of copepod. It has these long um, pedipalps off of it and it's more suited for open water. This is not the kind of stuff you would find in just a normal cultivation. This is a predatory one, not just towards ciliates. This one almost appears to have uh, road fur inside of it that I didn't realize. Okay, I don't think that's what that was, but there's road fur surrounding it everywhere. But that entire area inside of it's just lit up by the polarization, so you, you can't even see the details, not even under the actual microscope. It was just so bright. And then here was a weird mite I found. Under the microscope, it was a lavender color. It was not red. But it was kind of cute. Here is another Daphneid from, again, like a different species. This was definitely a very diverse sample. But I'll probably be making tons of more videos on this zooplankton I found in this pond. Once they settle, I'll be able to get a lot of stuff. Here is one of those rotifers close up. And here's a little chidorid that got stuck on a piece of dirt that ended up in my plankton sample, even though it's super tiny and should have fell through. It might be some from some other genus from Chidoridae because it has like two little horns, but it has the overall taxonomic features. But anyways, bye. And there's a cute little mite.